What question we'll talk about in this part? What is session? Why we need to use session? How can we use session in the fast API? What is middleware? Why we need to use middleware? How can we use middleware in the fast API? If you can answer this question, we can skip this part. Let's get started with the first question. What is session? In the previous sections, we stated that HTTP requests are stateless, or in other words, it can take information about the last request into the next, such as settings the user chose or conditions that arose during processing. To solve this problem, developers use sessions. Sessions actually store information about the user. To clarify, let me give an example. Suppose you've been seeing a doctor for a long time. After this long time, the doctor will become more familiar with you and your illness. Therefore, there is no need to give a history every time you see this doctor. This will certainly speed up the doctor's diagnosis and the doctor will have more accurate diagnosis. This is exactly the concept of the session. Session in one sentence means identifying an authorized client. But how can it be possible? For answering this question, let's take a look at the mechanism of this identification of people without authentication. Identification for anonymous users occurs in two general ways. In the first way, all user information is stored in the user's computer, and in each request, this information is called from the user's computer. In the second way, website of the server generates a token for each anonymous user, and these tokens are stored in the user's computer. But here, the user information is stored inside the server of the website, and every time we visit the website, the user sends this token to the server and receives the information from the server. The second way is very similar to the user authentication, but there is an important difference between authentication and anonymous authentication. In user authentication case, we have a username and password. And if for any reason the generated token is lost, for example, by changing the browser or deleting browser cookies or using the incognito version, you can use username and password again to generate a new token. But in anonymous user case, if the token is deleted, the customer will have no way to retrieve a new token or the existing token. Now the question that arises is, when should we use the first type decisions or cookie-based decisions? And when should the second type session or database session and cache based session? The answer to this question depends entirely on your application. But as a general rule, it is better to store data that we don't need and don't want to use on the client side. So here it is better to use cookie based sessions unless we want to modify our marketing plans according to the action of anonymous user. Therefore, from the programmer's point of view, the best thing to do is to store the sessions in the client or inside the cookies. But from the marketing point of view, the best thing to do is to store the data in the database. Now, the main question is, what do we want to use sessions in our project? In almost all e-commerce websites, it is possible to create a shopping cart without logging to the website. So the only way to store a shopping cart is within the session. Here another question is arised. How are these sessions supposed to be implemented? Let me ask my question more precisely. In general, sessions are sent to the server with each request. This is an important feature of sessions. But how can we do this? 
or how to send sessions with all requests regardless of the type of request. This is done using middleware. In the next video, I'll talk in detail about middleware. Thank you for watching my video. This video is just a part of my 8 hour course in Udemy. The course link is written in the description. You can get this course for free using the e-commerce code. This code is only valid for 3 days. So hurry up and enroll in my course.